Living Society once he retired. All these tycoons would eventually become influential philanthropists, using their wealth and influence to build libraries, medical institutions, and with the case of Henry Ford, built a traditional American town to help preserve a historical period of American life. However, both Andrew Ryan and Ayn Rand saw how the US government was increasingly adopting socialist policies, which especially occurred under the Democrats. Franklin's Roosevelt's presidency passed new legislations which would introduce interventionist economic policies, such as implementing a social security system, federalizing intrusions into union management, beginning public works programs, increased tax rates, implemented price controls, started minimum wage, and abandoned the gold standard. These legislations formed the largest expansion of federal government power in America's peacetime history. To Andrew Ryan and Ayn Rand, Roosevelt's legislation was a sign that their once free country had been subverted. Andrew Ryan and his father fled the Bolsheviks to prosper in the land of the free. But this wasn't the land of the free it pretended to be. It was the land of the taxed. And once Andrew Ryan's anti-communist father refused to pay his fair share of taxes and protest, he was arrested and placed in jail. I despise what this civilization is becoming, Sullivan. First the Bolsheviks and then Roosevelt. Truman carrying on much of what Roosevelt began. Little men on the backs of great ones. It will only stop when real men stand up and say no more.